Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's Peekin here, currently a jungle main for Team Verendum. Uh, right now, I'm on my Smurf account that's currently peaked at Gold 3. Uh, my other account was Diamond 1, but I actually sold that account for $500, so I just didn't want to pass up that opportunity. I figured I'd make a small, just a small tutorial video for you guys who are curious about as to why I'm playing Nunu, and just... Personally, some ideas and some tips for why I th still think he's a good choice to go in the jungle with. Um, so first off, I'll just uh, I'll explain the runes and masteries that I decided to go with on this. Uh, for the runes, I actually run a 19% attack speed, so all 9 marks. Flat armor seals, so I got 9 flat armor. And ability power, and then quince of ability power as well. So it totals out to 19% attack speed, 26 AP, and a bonus of 9 armor in the beginning of the game. So my reason as to why I believe Nunu is still a viable choice is topmost priority as far as objective control. You know, obviously getting those dragons and baron and even rift herald. As far as scuttlers go too, you can even throw those in there. That uh. It's actually really important to have all these and try to get as many as you can as far as the game progresses. Um, you know, never can have enough dragon buffs <laughs> or barons, those are obviously good things. Um, Nunu is actually a really, really strong counter jungler as well. You just have to be careful on who you're playing against. Um, for example, I tend to struggle a bit playing against like a Lee Sin, a, uh, a Rengar, especially Uter. Uter is probably honestly considered the best jungler in this game right now as far as season six goes i know last season that you know he was still high up there but there were just some better picks over udir um so yeah i just struggle with a few enemy champions in the jungle but um other than that this seems to work out very well i decided to actually go for my first ability uh, i took the ice ball just in case if we decide to go invade the enemy jungle or just in general if the enemy tries to invade my jungle I can get away a bit easier with uh, spamming ice balls at them. So as you can see I started uh, you know you always want to start your bottom side so you can get the best leash from your support and your ADC. Um, right now I'm just beating on these Krugs right now just trying to get them out the way. So then the second ability you want to go is uh, you obviously want to go with your Q. So for those of you that for those of you that don't know what Nunu's Q does, it does uh, true damage. First upgrade you can do about 500 true damage to enemy minions or monsters, and then you heal for a small percent of the damage dealt that way from your Q. Um, so it's obviously a great utility tool to sustain the jungle with, and also taking enemy junglers buffs. Even intercepting dragons, barons, rift heralds, and scuttlers. <clears throat> so in my clear, if I start the bottom side, so if I start red bottom, um, I typically always want to save the second smite for the the raptor. I believe that they're called. Yeah, the raptor. So you can get, I can get the uh, vision and see if there's enemy wards, anything like that. So right now I'm just gonna go see if I can see if uh, the enemy jungler. I believe. Yep, it's a Rengar, so, like I said, um, usually I struggle against Rengar, but I'm not sure if he's over here. Hmm, okay, so maybe he cleared out his wolves, I'm just gonna go see if Blue's up, because I'm already over here. Okay, so he cleared out that side, so he's already in his section of red. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this bug real quick, just get the speed buff, get a little bit of XP. Alright. I swear, this is one bug you don't want to encounter in person that just, it's so hard to get rid of. <laughs> Alright, so far my lanes are okay. Nobody's pushed in too far as far as enemy or allies go. And so, no lane needs help. I'm just going to go ahead and get this blue real quick. <clears throat> uh, eat him. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'll try to explain the build that I'm going to show you guys right now. Um, with the new jungle item, the Runic Echoes, it's actually really effective on a lot of AP 
junglers, especially um, Uter. Uh, and the funny thing about Uter is that a lot of people either tend to go Devour or the Runic Echoes. Both are pretty good. But anyway, Runic Echoes is really good, especially on Nunu because he is an AP champ. And the extra movement speed can be really useful to getting where you need to go. And harassment to stay on your enemies with ice balls. So basically just help your uh, allies get the kills and just solidify what you can with your ice balls. <laughs> Honestly though, I can't complain about Nunu's kit. I mean, you gotta heal from minions or monsters. You can buff yourself and allies with a movement speed buff and attack speed buff from your blood boil, which is your W. And the ult is really useful too. I mean, I'm not really a fan of Nunu's ult because it's, you know, once you see an enemy Nunu channeling an, an ult, it's just like, okay, all I gotta do is just get out of it, and then I won't get hurt. So, I wish they would do a little rework on him, that would be nice. Just give him like a better ultimate or something. It just changes overall kit around, it would be nice. <clears throat> Alright, nothing exciting is really going on. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can help her out real quick. She's kind of pushed in. I don't have boots or anything, so my ganks are kind of useless right now. So, yep, see, she just... But that is in Italy, so she's always going to get away. So I just tend to not chase her as often. Unless if I know for sure that me and my uh, team can get the kill on her. <laughs> Alright, just going to go clear my monsters real quick. See, it's just, it just does so much damage. You can, all you gotta do is just get one Q, smite whatever you need to, and I, I just killed a wolf in like a second. <laughs> a big wolf. The Nunu's clear time and the camps are very effective, even as far as, like I said, the objective control. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clear these. I'll probably go back after I clear this real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and take more cues just to keep the clear time high. Well, I'm sorry. Let me explain that better. Just to clear more of the uh, the, the camps. All right. Let's see if I can help again. She's probably gonna get away again. Try to blood boil, ice ball. Yeah, no, no. He he doesn't do too much on the too much damage in the beginning. Plus, I only have the uh, Hunter's Talisman, so <laughs> not really a threat right now. But she did almost kill her. I almost did enough damage to help. Mm, let's see. Do I want to get Dragon yet? Yeah, I'll get Dragon. Yeah, and this is the crazy thing. So I only have a Hunter's Talisman. I have no health pots. It's just... Oh, here comes Lux. Lux is helping a little bit. Oh, I have a... Let's see if I can... Let's see. Yep. And I was able to get Dragon with a... Uh... Yeah, dragon early, and all I had was one item. So typically what I like to do in the beginning is I'll start Ice Ball first, and then I usually get uh, two points in my consume. Go ahead and get boots. Mm, no, let's go ahead and get my health pot. A little bit of AP. But yes, Ice Ball first, and then I usually go two points into consume. And honestly, you can get a level 3 dragon very quickly out of that. Especially if your bottom lane is playing a little more aggressive. You can keep the enemy ADC in support under their turret. And you'll probably catch a lot of people off guard if you're trying to get a level 3 dragon. <laughs> so, you know, level 3 dragon obviously helps, but it is very risky. So if, you're, if you feel like taking that option, you're more than welcome to try that. Another champion that's really good for that is Olaf Jungle, but I haven't really, I haven't played Olaf Jungle in a while, honestly. I, um, I've seen it a couple times, but 
you know, like I said, there's just, there's so many people that are really good out right now, and, um, they might get buffed a little bit. I usually typically try to bring back the champions, and nobody really plays often. Like, I haven't seen a new new jungle beside myself in... Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. <laughs> it's been that long. Probably about a little bit after the beginning of Season 5. I know Nunu was very viable once he got his rework with his with his Consume. Because his Consume has three little bonus abilities. Um, if you decide to queue a, like a different, oh, what is he doing? The DC? Okay. Okay. <laughs> go ahead and I'll just stay on him. Go ahead and do that. He's not good there. There we go. I just healed for like 300 health from consuming Scuttler. Yeah, so as you can see, I just went from about a few bars of health to, I'm going to say about like 70, 75% back to full health. Oh, they have full health right there. <laughs> Full health, full mana. That's that's always nice when you're jungling. <laughs> but um, yeah, as I was saying, if you uh, if you consume a wolf, you get 15% movement speed for a few seconds, and that's not even. You know, let me see if I'm gonna go in. Okay, is she ever stunned? Oh nope, I thought she had her. Oh, I'm probably gonna die. Mm, yep. Okay, there it is. Oops. <laughs> I thought, she, I thought Annie had her stunned because I seen her coming in, and uh, so I was a little off on that, and she's gone. Mistake on my part. <laughs> thought she had her stun up, but she didn't. Ooh. Eh, one death ain't so bad. <laughs> if I can go help that, uh, it's probably... Oh, he might save the turn. Good job, Hacker Room. Scared him off. <laughs> yeah, so the build, uh, the build that I'm trying to go with is, uh, as you guys can see, I got Runic Echoes and substantially improved my clear time. I just basically took out this camp in about a few seconds, in like five seconds. It's not bad. Go ahead and get Scuttler real quick. I'm gonna pass him up. Oh, well, good job, Caitlyn. Triple kill. Nice. Go ahead and plant some mores around. Let's put that there. Just see if it comes up soon. I'm gonna go ahead and take Rift Herald. I'm gonna try to solo this. So, pops. Hmm, wonder if I can get this. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I wish it was turned around and do more damage to him, but <laughs> he's not gonna take that. Yep, close fight. On Q. There we go. Yeah, so as you guys seen right there, um, it's, it's possible to solo Rift Herald. I only have four points on my Q too, so once I get the fifth upgrade for it, I would be able to do a lot more damage to it and get a better heal out of it. So, oh, back at full health. Got Rift Herald and. I'm at full health again. Gonna go see if I can find Rengar in the jungle. Probably not. I'm just gonna check him. Don't see him. Go up top. Push top out a little bit. Oh, sweet, got my arm right here. Yeah, we'll probably get a turret out of this. I don't think anybody's gonna come up and stop us. Let's turret 
turret. Oh boy. People are coming. Kind of nervous. Let's see if we can stop him. Or steal his rip. Got his rip. <coughs> Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, I would say that's the only thing I don't really care about Nunu, is just, his main, his only damage, honestly, is the Ice Ball, and then his ultimate. Other than that, I mean, just try not to stay, like, close to the enemy. I mean, sounds kind of cheesy doing, just E, just hit multiple E's over and over again, but... Honestly, that's the only output of damage Nunu has, and you just gotta utilize that. So I would say just keep your distance, blood boil yourself as often as you can, and spam those ice balls. <laughs> just as long as you're away from the enemies, it's the more the better. I just that red real quick. I'm gonna push this out. Probably gonna go back to base. I have a lot of gold. boots real quick a lot of people usually go uh like more of a uh, either a ninja tabby or a mercury treads on nunu just for that little bit of defense um honestly the craze right now is boots of swiftness or cooldown boots they actually up the cost of boots of swiftness and the lucidity boots by 100 they used to only be 800 gold but now they're 900 um so that's honestly a big change in the boot cost but people still don't care it's either boots of swiftness or or uh cooldown boots <laughs> those are the only two that are really good in my opinion so um, as far as everybody else goes too seems that that's the only two that they go with Yeah, and something, uh, they actually buffed up Sunfire Cape. I used to not be a real big fan of, of it until they gave it the buff. The buff is actually now that, uh, they, the passive, so the burning passive of Sunfire actually does a bonus of 50% damage. What, what is he doing? Right, let's see here. I guess he's... There you go, heck no. I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah, he just, I don't know, that was crazy. He just stood there, he just... I guess he gave up. <laughs> he knew he was gonna die. But yeah, anyway, um, about the Sunfire passive, it actually does a bonus of 50% additional damage from the burn, so... Uh, right now I wanna say it's, it's doing about like 30 damage, uh, cause it scales with level. So, it does a base of, I believe it's 15, and then plus your level, so... 50% of about like 30 damage is so basically yeah basically it'll do like about 50 to 60 damage to the minions that you're around so it just helps with pushing a little bit because naturally like I said Nunu doesn't do a lot of damage just just from his ice, ice ball and his ultimate so that's yeah the Sunfire is definitely a go-to item for Nunu get another Rift Heralds Board right there. It's gonna be a lot easier now because I have max stability for my Q and a little bit of defense. Got him already the halfway health. I only queued him twice. There we go. I still have about half of my health to spare. I'll just cue this scuttle bug. There we go. 
this little camp. Nope, and there's Rengar. Let's see where he's going. I know I'm not going to kill him. Get an ice ball out. See if I can get out of this. Alright, he flies at me. Alright. <laughs> not going to get me. <laughs> All right, well, the, okay, he got his red. All right, I mean, I guess that's good. It took off uh, a little bit of pressure from my allies, so. I think blue's up. Yep, take his blue real quick. Yeah, so one Q and a smite. You know, have the uh, runic echo ability ready to go. Q, do a, basically a ton of damage and then smite and finish off whatever you're getting. Oh, there goes Hector. Oh wow, did that much damage? It's insane. Oh, she flashed out of it. Yeah, typically, um. The way to try to get the best Nunu ult off is, well, as long as you know that you're going to get at least someone that is a big threat, just, uh, I typically like to flash in there and just get it off. The only reason I did that is because we're trying to, well, we already got an inhibitor, so <laughs> it's actually a lot faster than I thought. Just try to get some inhibs. We'll probably go, uh, no, actually, Let's see if I can get him out the picture, at least distract him. Our minions are attacking the turret. Yeah, we'll get Baron. We're gonna go go ahead and get this Baron. Actually, yep, I was about to recall, but I'm gonna see and go back in. Blood boy with Caitlyn, get her back in the fight a little bit. At least just to distract them. Pretty epic right here. Cue that. Ekarim got Mumu, I got an assist, sweet. Yeah, I'll just poke at him. Blood boiling, ice balls. Oh, mm, got him. <laughs> Get some health back coming over here. Damage, get hit a little bit. Alright, so they're fine. I'm gonna go ahead and get this dragon. Okay. Just overstaying a little too long. Okay. We're still getting kills. <laughs> nice. Oh, one died. Yeah, typically if I'm, like, want me with Nunu in this case, uh, you know, once I get, like, weak, I tend to just run into the jungle and just try to clear something out, because, I mean, you never want to stop gaining gold. Like, especially if you're that low, just, I would just get out the fight and just try to focus on something else. Right now, the only thing to really focus on is just clearing some monster camps right now. Bottom's pushed in a little bit, so that's fine. Not gonna worry about bot lane. Go ahead and get this too. I got some armor, so get some magic resistant health. Probably, we are probably gonna do Baron. I'm gonna go ahead and head to Baron real quick. Get this. It's cool down there. Alright, so it looks like they haven't ordered anything. So they're probably gonna be a free Baron. As, as is in their base, taking care of minions. Yeah, it's probably free Baron. Let's see. I don't have Smite, so it's, it's kind of a gamble. Let's see how it plays out. Yeah, we got this. I hope. Hopefully no Ezolt comes. There we go. Nice. Good job, team. Oh, that. Okay. 
take this blue real quick and then we're gonna go push. Oh, oh, as all. <laughs> there it was. <laughs> well, so I lost blue and gave it to Ez, which Ez just died, and now Lux has blue. So, a <laughs> nice little buff swap. Go. Oh, no, he's, she's fine. <laughs> mm, she's running away from me. Baseball did like 500 damage. That's nice. Oh, Moo Moo. Aw. Oh. <laughs> he had nowhere to go. Just trying to get minions to catch up, but they're almost all dead. I think there's like one left. No, there's two, two of the enemies up. So we're just gonna. One turret's gone. One more enemy's gone. Another turret. And that will be... It's gonna be game. Oh. So there you have it, guys. Um, you know, nothing too exciting, but Nunu is a pretty decent choice. Um, definitely for objective control and just kind of harassing the enemy team. So I'm going to post more of these videos up very soon. Um, please feel free to follow the YouTube channel, guys, and I will post more for you. Thanks for tuning in.